Hello everyone, it is Jacob with an update video for my Selina. I've upgraded a few items and changed the build quite a bit, so I will do a review of my current status. The current farming setup damage is around 200 billion, as you can see. It is capable of clearing deep space, but slowly, so I'm not running deep space yet. But it is clearing profound really quickly. You can just yeah go through the map fast. I've increased the survivability quite a bit. I, I've increased the damage as well. So let's go through it. Item wise, the first upgrade after the previous video where we had all the items just tier 1s, item level 86. The first upgrade I did and I think that everyone should do is buy a level one item level 100 stuff <coughs> and pretty much craft it yourself. You want intelligence, spell skill damage and main skill level. Uh, sorry, intelligence, spell skill level and main skill level on it. And then you want a base with plus two focus blessing stacks. And something useful as a base affix like Plus one focus blessings would be the best, but yeah, those are really hard to get or, or are really pricey. So what I've uh, gotten is armor damage mitigation, which increases your elemental damage <coughs> you make, you, you do to monsters, because armor also mitigates elemental damage, so this stat is really nice to have on any gear that you can get it on, like you can get it on almost all the pieces. <coughs> and since we are getting like uh, elemental penetration from other sources like uh, passive points and other gear like getting armor damage mitigation anywhere is really a nice damage boost so then max focus blessings as a dreamcraft mm, they get it with something like bearable like minion skill area does not affect the build at all and you can rare all this <clears throat> quite cheaply yourself, so don't even need to focus on that one that hard. You should be able to get focus blessings on there <coughs> with like every 150 rolls, I guess. So, yeah. But if you can buy the base with it, definitely buy it with that. <coughs> Those are going for around 500 FE, so yeah. So, the base. Intelligence, main skill level, spell skill level, and then in the suffixes you want elemental damage and spell damage. And uh, I've chosen plus four beams. Critical damage is okay. Uh, gas speed as well. Um, my idea behind the beams is that once I get to 500 billion hits, uh, yeah, 500 billion hits, then I will need more hits to get more damage because the hit damage is capped at, at 500 billion so this should give me like four more hits per cast so yeah we'll see later on but critical damage also works we are almost capped on critical damage with my current setup <coughs> so yeah the next upgrade after that i would recommend you to get uh, corrupted is raffle sorrow with the damage you want to get as high damage roll as possible and don't care much about the intelligence requirements because you will have a lot of intelligence with my setup and corrupted israfels goes for around <coughs> oops um that's not true No, one, two, and three. Okay, 975. <coughs> you know what? Let's just find it here. Um, you want to set the trade like this. 975 or 1255. And just search. And I've been searching for 16 int and or 
<coughs> energy shield because those are the other good corrupts that you could get on it. So yeah, those are going for around 2k. Let's see how much do they cost without this. Yeah, you should be able to get it fairly cheaply as you can see 1k, 1.2k with just the corrupt. That will provide you with a lot of damage because we are scaling additional damage and more damage uh, like on almost every piece and you want to add as much base as possible so this is what uh, this is where the stat gets provided from so that would be my second upgrade and now as my third upgrade i'm trying to farm up for an amulet but, and since i want to get the best amulet that i can get i have to save up quite a bit and the uh, amulet of my choice would be this one with plus six all skill levels and intelligence those are going for around 8k so yeah <clears throat> that will be my next upgrade which i'm saving up for now but if you would be willing to go lower and cheaper then the amulets get pretty cheap but as you can see we can compare that's plus 83 percent damage and plus 46 and that's just two skill levels so yeah I want to save up if you would want if you would be willing to spend less and farm faster because the amulet will definitely let you farm faster you can get plus three fairly cheap or under 1k and that will that would still help you with your clear and damage so yeah amulet will be my next upgrade <coughs> and after that you would want to get a second ring i got this from i got this gifted yeah let's just say that it is an insane ring but what you would be looking for um you would be looking for something like this where you want max focus blessings on the ring and then trigger elemental destruction curse in the on the base either from uh, dreamcraft or as a base stat so trigger trigger elemental destruction curse focus blessings and then intelligence elemental and er erosion penetration crit rating crit damage and whatever resistance you are missing so this will be this would be your uh, ring of choice of what you would be of what you want want to craft and um, uh, you want to get a base with the curse already on it preferably because rolling dream crafts on rings is pretty costly and bases with that go for around 1.5k with like bearable downsides as you can see i've chose some here for you so you would want to get a base like this and if you would be willing to pay a little bit more then you would want to get a base like uh, <coughs> with some of the mods already crafted on it like this one has already max focus blessings and elemental and ero erosion resistance penetration and as you can see even this ring which is not like finished yet it does not have tier zero mods i would not recommend going for tier zeros yet because you want to get your other pieces as well so tier one ring for around 3k with i mean minus cold resistance is not the best one but it, there are ways to go around it so yeah around 3k 4k sh you should be able to craft it yourself for around 4k i guess so yeah that's for the ring and as you can see with the ring like this you would have around 20 to 30 percent less damage than i have right now <coughs> so you would be at around 150 billion dps so that would be the second ring and once you get that ring with the elemental extraction you want to get plus one additional curse on one of your candles and that's what i have right here you can cast one additional curses and i had to buy one with plus minimal channel stacks 
and that's because I don't have enough plus skills yet. But once I will have enough plus skills and I get channel preparation to level 30, it will give me plus 3 initial channel stacks and that will let me <coughs> get rid of this candle and get like uh, grudge support or critical strike damage support or um, what else is there <coughs> control spell support on the candle as my seventh link basically so yeah that's what plus skills would let me do like that it will let you swap one candle off <coughs> So that's for that. The rest of the gear is the same, just a helmet with the mods I showed in the last video. Uh, after we get the ring with the curse and the candle, I would focus on boots because those will let you get more movement speed, which will let you go through the maps faster. So yeah, that will also be my next upgrade after the amulet. <coughs> So, yeah, that's for the items. For the skills, those stood pretty much the same. Uh, the only thing that I would like to change here, after I get the amulet, I will swap the candle for the grudge one. I will move channel preparation here instead of guard. You can do it right now, actually. <coughs> and I will swap guard for the icebound beam support that gives stacks to monsters and lets you do additional damage. So that's the swap for here. <coughs> for rigid transmission, I don't have grudge on my candle yet, so I, ha I I am getting it from here. Like you are blinking on monsters or on bosses and you have like 63% uh, chance to paralyze them, which lets you do more damage. Biting cold, they the same. Secret origin unleash. <coughs> I have it with preparation, mass effect, and to keep it 100% up, I had to link it with extended duration and cooldown reduction, just so I have uh, it on max stacks before it, it gets cast. Like It is almost 100% uptime, but it is getting cast on max stacks. You can see here free, now it gets cast. So yeah, to make it better uptime, I guess I would get like 7 seconds <coughs> activation preparation medium here as well and put it here which would increase the duration as you can see here I have one with duration and that would make that would let me do a maximum uptime that will be an upgrade as well and as the last one I'm using bloody steps just to go through the maps fast 5 seconds uh, uh, cooldown and extended duration uh, on the activation minimum premium then extended duration as a link and mass effect and that lets me like keep bloody steps almost 100% uptime again and it is getting cast on free stacks so it is getting the most from the mass effect from the mass effect here for the auras rigid domain like this with increased area and selfless because fridge do domain does not affect you but it affects monsters around you second aura uh, okay uh, also fridge domain gets scaled from your plus cold skills levels which i have on some of my items so as you can see i have plus seven here uh, and we can compare it to precise projectiles i have only three here so i have plus four cold skills somewhere on the gear so that's frigid domain, increased area and selfless. Elemental amplification, that's also uh, also has a cold tech, so it's also plus seven. And I'm reserving that on my life. <coughs> Third aura, precise projectiles. If you feel squishy, feel free to swap this for elemental resistance. That will make you way tankier because it would give you Let's see how much resistances do I have now. 69 auras. We just slot in the aura in. So yeah, if you struggle with your resistances, just slot in the resistance aura there. 
and it will make you much more tankier. I'm going for as fast clear as possible, I'm not, I don't care about experience uh, right now, so I don't care about dying, so yeah, more damage equals better clear. And the last link here, I'm using precise ice in view because the damage is high, but it is, is still not high enough to let me uh, kill monsters instantly when I hit them, so this le lets me clear large packs of monsters instantly because they just explode. And I link that with increased area. I'm trying different links here, and now I'm trying overload. If there is really tanky like elite in the middle of the pack and it does not get exploded, it gets overload stacks and I deal damage to it for uh, half a second, so yeah, might not be worth it, but yeah. Uh, what what else you can use? You can use Freeze Chance, for example, which would... The Ice Imbue would, would deal more damage with that, but it is already hitting for 500 billion, so it pretty much can't do more damage. <coughs> so that's why I chose Overload to increase my damage for at, at least a little bit. You can also use Blinding to blind the monsters, so they have lesser chance to hit you if they survive after that yeah so that's my skills and for my passives that's the biggest change here goddess of destruction stayed the same uh, warlock stayed the same as well I'm taking the cooldown recovery and max charges here just to get plus, plus one max charges to get the bloody steps to free charges which makes you noticeably faster if you are able to balance it like this when it is getting cast on free stacks so yeah cooldown recovery speed and max charges and i swapped uh i swapped elementalist for magister what that lets you do it lets it it, it lets you take this <coughs> like you have this on your slates already from the previous video and now you are taking it again which gives you around uh, 5 or 6k more energy shield just from this one note which is insane so yeah that's why i'm taking it here and uh, at the rest of the points just get max energy shield and uh, energy shield uh, regain pretty much as you can see here um yeah at the end of the tree you also get a plus 6% spell critical strike damage per stack of focus blessings. That's one that I'm missing on my slates. I would like to get this one on my slates as well. And that's pretty much it. For this, <coughs> for the large notes bunch, gives you plus, ma plus maximum focus blessings and lets you scale damage from your focus blessings even more. And barrier of radiance. Makes you pretty much immortal, uh, unless you get one shot it. Because when your energy shield drops to under 30%, it starts charging from this node, which immediately starts your energy shield charge upon entering the low energy shield status. And then the en this charge gets boosted by 50% and also is uninterruptible for 4 seconds because it says energy shield charge started recently cannot be interrupted recently means in the last four seconds so you have four seconds of uninterrupted energy shield charge which lets you regenerate your energy shield twice pretty much maybe even three times and for my statue of the god i'm rebuilding this this was my priciest upgrade that i made <coughs> you want to get penetrating definitely because that will let you scale your damage from focus blessings and I'm at uh, what 13 or 14 focus Please blessings already I'm at 13 and I'm still missing two. one uh, I I'm still missing at least uh, two that I can get easily and three or four that will cost me something but the easy uh, focus blessing that I'm missing are on I'm missing one on my rings and I'm missing one on my slice so those are too easily gainable that would put me to 16 so yeah you want to get additional damage from focus blessings wherever you can 
that's what penetration penetrating gives you and i'm pairing that with ambition um there is one for 3.5k now so if you can get that get it because there might not they they might not be there for a long time but you want to get the penetrating definitely the ambition basically provides you with fervor which lets you uh, do more critical strikes because it increases your critical strike chance we can check it right here <coughs> please select the calibration intensity for invincibility number two um fervor increases attack and spell critical strike rating and i have st 100 stacks because yeah you are getting 10 stacks for every uh, hit to the two rare monsters so that's this but get the penetrating definitely if you can get it with something useful get it with something useful uh, penetrating ones are going for fairly cheap so just find one with good rolls and if you can afford it get ambition and if they are there on the trade get ambition with it uh, on the other notes an important ones would be uh, percentage intelligence on every slate maximum focus blessing stacks with this mode and then there is one with uh, maximum focus blessings like this and then there is one with maximum focus blessings and uh, uh, gain focus blessing when hitting frozen enemy so you want to get that one as well I, I don't have that one so yeah that's the one I'm missing but plus intelligence focus blessings then critical strike damage for focus blessing I'm missing that one as well and then you want to get plus six max energy shield per five intelligence that's what you definitely want to get at least once and then want you you want to get once at least once the plus 40 percent additional beam length because that helps you with clear tremendously if you can get multiple of those uh and you are doing like frozen canvas for example you can just stay in the middle and it will clear everything if you get this mod twice so yeah really helps with clear also helps with, bo with bosses uh, with harder mechanics because you can stay good, stay really far from them so yeah and on the rest of the mods try to get plus call skills wherever possible and plus spell skills also help Critical strike damage, critical strike chance. Yeah, I'm stuck in intelligence wherever I can. So there are there is a lot of room for improvement on my slides. But yeah, that will come after I get my items basically. So for the slides, just get whatever you can get for fairly cheap and just get them going. Intelligence, max focus blessings, critical strike damage for focus blessings max energy shield per 5 intelligence and cold, cold or spell skill levels that would be the main points on slides and that's pretty much it I will show you how it clears a map <coughs> oh not this one, this one I don't care about the mods I just put whatever it rolls on and I go and as you can see, the, it, the clear is faster than it was, but it is still not like instant. But definitely fast. And if you are on a lower damage, just use the farming strategy that I showed you in one of my previous videos with Nightmare and War. Because that will let you clear entire maps really quickly. This is how it goes without nightmare with my current status. So yeah, thanks everyone for watching. I hope this update video helps you with your progression. I will try to do another upgrade video after I get the amulet. And yeah, after I get all my gear, I guess, because... Uh, 
just get in the amulet, it will just double my damage pretty much. And that's not in really interesting. But yeah, uh, if you guys need some more explanation for anything, just let me know in the comment section below. Thanks everyone for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!